Hello Capricorn, Sun Rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. So Capricorn, today we're going to look into your person. We're going to see how they're currently viewing their relationship with you and how they feel about it and what actions they plan on taking in your direction and or moving forward. So with all that being said, let's get started. For Capricorn, Sun Rising and Venus, how does this person currently view their relationship? With Capricorn. Mmm. This person just can't get enough of you, honey. It's like the first thing that came to my mind. But we have the Ace of Cups. We got the Two of Wands. Okay. We also have the Devil. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. With the Five of Pentacles. And then we have the Chariot to the Knight of Wands. Yeah, this person can't get enough of you. I don't know what you did to them. I don't know. But they just can't get enough of you. You know what's interesting is that in some way, shape, or form, this person does look at you and the relationship with you as something that they should kind of walk away from. Um, I am definitely getting that strongly. So there's something about this relationship, you know, that they share with you that causes them to feel like, you know what, I really should walk away from them. I really should stop dealing with them. I really should stop involving myself with them. But it's like they just can't fucking get enough of you. They just, they just can't. They just can't. Like when it comes down to you, dude, it's like, uh, they just can't help themselves. They just can't help themselves. They want what they want. And what they want is basically you. I want to look at the, the devil to the five of pentacles real quick. Uh, tell me more about the uh, devil to the five of pentacles. Mm. Okay. Okay. You're showing up. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Mm. Okay. You don't want to give them what they want. You don't want to give them what they want. What they want is a relationship, but you don't want to give that to them. You don't want to give that to them. You don't. And to be honest, between you and I, and this person doesn't need to know all of this, but I feel like you're too afraid to go there with this person. You are. Keep in mind, the Eight of Cups came out here for you, and it's attached to your energy, by the way. Um, the Eight of Cups is attached to the Ten of Cups, which basically speaks of a loving and healthy relationship between two people. Um, that's what you're afraid to do here, um, is, is go all the way. I would say, with them out of fear that if you do, you're going to get your heart broken, you're going to get disappointed, you're going to get betrayed, you're going to get deceived. Um, it's basically what I'm getting. You're trying to avoid getting heartbroken, you're trying to avoid getting disappointed, and you're trying to avoid getting betrayed. Again, is basically what I'm getting. Okay, so... That's kind of why they're looking at their relationship the way that they're looking at it with you because you're refusing to give them what they want. What they want is a relationship with you. Like this one over here is pretty freaking dead set on you and what they want here with you. Keep in mind the Ace of Cups is also attached to Ten of Cups, which again speaks of a loving and healthy relationship between two people. That's what they want with you. But you refuse to give them what they want with you. And we... Obviously went over why you don't want to give that to them. Um, but yeah, that's kind of why they're just like, you know what? I really should walk away from Capricorn. I really should leave them alone. I really should because they're not ready for a relationship. They don't want to give me a relationship. So yeah, I really should leave them alone. I really should walk away from them. I really should stop dealing with them. But I just can't help myself. I want them. You know what I mean? It has that type of feel to it. Okay. How does this person currently feel about their relationship with Capricorn? <clears throat> okay. Uh, we have the Chariot. We have the Queen of Swords. We got the Eight of Cups. And then we also have the Seven mm. of Wands. Okay. I feel like this is what they're about to do, though. I feel like this is what they're about to do. For some, they could have already done this. Um, yeah, for some, they could have already done this. Um, for some, they're about to do this. Um, because, because you're not ready for a relationship, because you refuse to give them, you know, what they want here. I do feel like this person is definitely thinking about walking away from you um, for good is basically what I'm getting. Now, 
keep this in mind, that they're really hoping that when they do get up and walk away from you and block you and stop talking to you and stop surrounding themselves with you, that hopefully, fingers crossed, right? That'll influence you to turn around and give them what they want. That will influence you to turn around and chase them. Um, it's basically what I'm getting. Now, I don't know if you're going to turn around and chase them. I don't know. I don't know if you're going to turn around and give them what they want, but that's what they're hoping for. Between you and I, that's exactly what this person's hoping for. They're really hoping that once they do get up and walk away from you and stop talking to you and block you and distance themselves from you, they're really hoping that that'll like, you know, open your eyes and get you to realize that you're making a terrible mistake here by not giving them what they want and taking them in this relationship that the two of you share with one another currently at the moment seriously. That's what they're hoping for, okay? What actions will this person take towards Capricorn or moving forward? Let me grab the card that fell one second. Okay, we have the Five of Swords, okay? We got Three of Pentacles, we got the Eight of Swords, we got the Ace of Pentacles. Mm. with the hair font out here. I do want to see what actions you plan on taking in their direction. Hmm. Okay. Um, well, let's talk. So we do have the eight of swords out here, um, you know, as well as the five of swords out here. And that creates a three of swords at play, which basically speaks of heartache. Um, one can look at it as disappointment as well. I do feel like this person's going to find themselves waiting, waiting for you to turn around and eventually take them seriously, waiting for you to eventually turn around and realize that, um, you know, you just missed out on a really, really good opportunity. Now, the fact that we have the eight of swords to the five of swords coming out here and that creates a three of swords, that's kind of telling me. That's kind of telling me that, um interesting I, I wonder if you harness aquarius within your chart but anyways that's kind of telling me that they may not they may not end up getting the outcome that they want in other words like you may not end up running back to them um i am definitely getting that but i don't know why all of a sudden i'm getting like a five of swords energy off of you why am i getting this five of swords energy off of you i want to look at you really quickly here Tell me, um, I almost called you Aquarius, Capricorn, Capricorn. Um, what actions will Capricorn take towards this person or moving forward? I'm getting the Five of Swords energy off of you all of a sudden. Ah, see, look at that. Uh, see, that's, uh, hold on. So we got the Six of Wands to the Knight of Cups to the Death card, and then we also have the Ten of Cups. Dude, I'm getting that Five of Swords energy off of you. The fact that this person... The fact that this person more than likely is going to see this through as far as like walking away from you is concerned, going as far as blocking you and not talking to you anymore and distancing themselves from you, you're going to fall into a five of swords energy. You're, you're going to start looking at this person like, yo, you see, you see, like I made the right decision. I made the right decision by not going all the way with this person. See, I made the right decision. I made the right decision because look, they turned around and they gave up on me. They turned around and they gave up on me. All this, oh, I love you. I want to be with you and yada, yada, yada. Like, look, see, they were BSing me the whole time because look, you know, they, they got up and they walked away from me. They got up and they, they walked away and they gave up on me. You see, they didn't really love me. They didn't really care about me. They didn't really want to be with me. And it has you falling into this energy of, I made the right decision. I made the right decision by not going all the way uh, there with them. I made the right decision by not taking them seriously. I made the right decision uh, by pushing them away. Because you see, look, they gave up on me. They gave up on me. Basically, you're not running after them. You're not running after them, but it's because of this, this, uh, this energy that you're kind of falling into, you know, logically speaking, because you come off to me as like a very cerebral, cerebral person. So you might have like a lot of air within your chart. So Gemini, Libra, maybe even an Aquarius I actually mistake you for Aquarius for a second. Um, you might just have Aquarius within your chart. But anyways, back to what I was going to say, right? Um, you're just a very logical, like, um, individual, right? And logically speaking, why would you run after somebody who 
doesn't want anything to do with you. Like, why, 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 why would you do that? You know what I mean? It makes no logical sense. But see, this is this is my thing, Capricorn. Is that I feel like this person wants everything to do with you. Uh, did I just call you Aquarius? Why do I keep mistaking you for an Aquarius? Jesus, I am so sorry. If I accidentally just, just in case I do it again, if I do call you Aquarius, you know what I mean, Capricorn, because I keep confusing you for an Aquarius for whatever odd reason. But anyways, um, back to what I was going to say, Capricorn. Um, dude, I feel like this person wants everything to do with you. I do. But you got to understand through their perspective, it's like, all you're really doing is pushing them away time and time and time and time again. Like all they want to do is build with you and establish a life with you. And they've been trying to do that. But then all you do in return is push them away time and time again. It's like you got to understand at the end of the day, we're human, right? So we're going to eventually get tired. We're going to eventually stop trying. And that's exactly what I see this person doing. You understand through their perspective because they're trying to build with you and you're just constantly pushing them away time and time again you're giving them the impression that you don't really want this you're giving them the impression that you don't really want to go there with them you don't really want to do this you know what i mean and that's another thing too between you and i this whole i don't want to go there with them because i'm afraid that i'm gonna get my heart broken i don't even feel like they know that about you like, i don't even feel like this person knows that that is that's why you just don't want to go there with them because you fear they're gonna break your heart I don't even feel like you've communicated that to this person. So with that being said, because I don't feel like you've communicated that to this person. Yeah, you're kind of giving them the impression that you don't really want to be with them like that. You don't really see them like that. Like, I'm going to be honest, if you and I were dating, let's just use you and I as an example. If you and I were dating and I'm over here trying to build and establish a life with you and all you're doing is pushing me away and I don't know the reason why you're pushing me away, I'm going to just sit there and assume that you don't really want to be with me like that. You don't really want this. You know what I mean? And eventually I'm just going to carry on about my life. You know what I mean? Because you got to understand you're, you're, you're rejecting this person time and time again. It's like, what do you think they're going to think? What do you think that they're going to think? You know what I mean? Especially if you don't sit there and tell them the reasons why you're pushing them away. Like, what do you really think they're going to think, Capricorn? Like, what do you really think they're going to think? They're going to think that you just don't want them like that. Or you just don't see them in that type of lighting. You know what I mean? But that's the thing, right, with you is that I feel like you do see them in that type of lighting as, like, somebody that you could go off and build with. But that's another thing with you is that you're not communicating that to them. Like, you're not sitting there telling them, like, yo, like, I could, I could totally see myself being with you. I could totally see myself being with you, but you know, I'm just afraid to go there with you. You're not, you're, you can't, you can't, you cannot convince me that you sat there and told this person all of this because I'm looking at somebody who feels very, very rejected by you and they don't even know why. And I feel like they're coming down to this conclusion that, well, maybe, maybe you just don't see them that way. Maybe you just don't want this. Maybe, 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 maybe. That's a possibility. But that's the thing is that you're giving this person no other choice but to assume those things because you're not telling them the real reason why you don't want to go there with them. You're not. And you know you're not. You know what I mean? You know what's crazy is that your person, your person comes off to me as somebody who's very spiritually based. Um, somebody who's really good at picking up on energy, somebody who's just overall like super fucking in tune. You know what I mean? Like this is somebody who has the ability to see right through people. So I think that this person knows that deep down inside you do want this, but it's their physical reality with you that's causing them to basically think maybe I'm bugging, maybe I'm tripping, maybe Capricorn doesn't really want to be with me because if they did. Why the hell are they pushing me away? This makes no damn sense. And it doesn't. You know what I mean? And like I say, you're not really like shedding light on why you are the way that you are with them. You're not shedding light on this. You're not. You're basically keeping this person in the dark, giving them no other choice but to assume whatever the hell, you know, they're going to assume, right? That you just don't see them that way, maybe. Maybe you don't really want to be with them like that, like. Because you ain't giving this person anything else to work with, you know, so they have no other choice but to sit here and assume that, okay, well, the reason why Capricorn is pushing me away is because maybe they don't really see me like that. Maybe they don't really want to be with me like that. All right, fuck it. I'll just accept that. You know what I mean? But it's, it's interesting because your person can definitely see right through you. Your person 
can definitely sense that you really do want this, but their physical reality is constantly telling them, nah, Capricorn doesn't want this because look, they're pushing you away. Look, they keep, they keep rejecting you time and time again. So I don't know. That must mean they don't really want to be with you, I guess, you know, and that's the impression that they're, 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 they're under right now. So, you know, then there's that dude, then there's that, um, this to me feels like a big ass misunderstanding. Uh, this feels like a huge ass misunderstanding. Cause gosh, it's like now you're falling into this energy of, ah, you see, look, they gave up on me. That means that they didn't really love me. They didn't really care about me. They didn't really want to be with me. I'm kind of curious, what did it mean to you when they were pursuing you? What did it mean to you when they were trying to build with you? What did that mean to you at the time? Because we, you know what I mean? I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of curious. Like, did that not mean anything? Like, because you're definitely looking at this moment like, ah, you see, they gave up on me. So that means they never really loved me. They never really cared about me, hmm, you know? But what did it mean when they were chasing you? What did it mean to you then? Like, what did it mean when they were trying to build with you? What did it mean then? You know what I mean? To you anyways. Because when it kind of looks like when they were trying to be with you, dude, you were constantly pushing this person away time and time again. So it's like, what did it mean to you then when they were chasing you and they were pursuing you and they were trying to build with you? You know? How does, I almost called you Aquarius, how does Capricorn, for some of you, all of this could very well be resonating vice versa, because I keep wanting to say Aquarius, but I'm just like, no, we're not doing Aquarius, we're doing Capricorn. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Swords, we got the Six of Cups, we got the Hangman, and then we also have the Four of Cups. Capricorn. <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. You know, you know that this person was trying. You know this person was trying to build with you. And what you would do instead is just turn around and push them away and reject them every single time. So you are consciously aware. This is telling me that you're consciously aware that they tried to build with you. They tried to pursue you in a relationship with you and you turned around and you rejected them every single time. Tell me more about the Four of Cups. You know, you know what's crazy, dude, is that by you rejecting them, the amount of times that you have rejected them, this is like the epitome, right, of you rejecting everything that you actually ask for because you asked for this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You did, dude, and you know you did. You asked for someone like this to walk in your life. And now that they're here, all you're doing is pushing them away time and time again. That's all you're doing. So you're, 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 you're pushing away the very thing that you basically manifested into fruition here for yourself. You're rejecting the very thing that you manifested into fruition here for yourself. That's what you're doing. And it's all in the name of, I just don't want to get hurt again. I just don't. I, I don't want to get hurt again. And I understand it. You know what I mean? I understand that you don't want to get hurt. I don't think anybody does. But that's my thing with you, Capricorn. See, you're just like, you're a very interesting human to me. Because you associate, hold on. So... Okay, so you associate being in a relationship with someone as something that's just going to cause you pain and disappointment, right? That's that's what you believe, right? That if you were to end up with someone, you're just going to end up getting played. You're just going to end up getting hurt. You're just going to end up getting disappointed. But then why ask for it? Why ask for love to show up? Why ask for, you know, someone to come along your way and, and want to be with you and build with you? Why Why ask for it then? Why ask for love then? If you associate love with something that's just going to cause you pain and suffering, why ask for it then? You know what I mean? Like, why ask for it? You know? 
you're very interesting to me. Like, I, I just want to pick your brain a little bit more. I do. I do. Tell, tell me more about the Four of Cups. That's See, that that's another thing, right? And this is kind of what confuses me about you because it's like, so you associate love with something that's just going to bring you pain and suffering. Therefore, this is why you're rejecting them, right? Because you just don't want to suffer. But then again, you asked for this. You asked for someone like this to show up in your life. Now they're here. And now you're pushing them away because, again, love in your eyes involves you suffering and going through this and that, right? There's also an overall energy of you not wanting to deal with... Um, the complications, I guess, of like being in a relationship, you know, is what I'm also kind of getting. You don't want to deal with disagreements. You don't want to deal with the whole fighting and arguing and bickering back and forth and just, you know, the complications of being in a relationship and the things that you would kind of have to deal with being in a relationship with someone because you're not going to end up with anybody that you're not going to have a, a disagreement with at some point in time. You're not going to end up with someone that you're not going to eventually get into a fight in or argument with. It's 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 inevitable with the tower coming out. You're not saying it's inevitable. You're going to get into a fight and argument with somebody that you end up with. You're going to get into a disagreement with somebody that you end up with. There's going to be times where that special someone's going to dry hump your last damn nerve. You know what I mean? It's inevitable. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. These are things that... You cannot avoid. You're you're gonna have your moments, you know, where things are gonna get challenging and things are gonna get hard. Um, but see, that's another thing. You don't want to deal with all that. You don't want to deal with those hard moments. You don't want to deal with those disagreements. You don't want to deal with being with someone that you're at odds with or that you don't see eye to eye. You don't want to deal with all of that. But that's that's my thing. You know, it's like. weird because it's like you attracted this opportunity to yourself because you asked for it because you asked for it and it's now that it's here it's just like but yeah but I just don't want to deal with like the whole complications of like being in a relationship and like this and that I don't want to deal with that so it's like then why ask for it because this is one of those situations, homie, where it's like, ask and you shall receive. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like you asked for this and it's like, now it's here. You're just like, but yeah, nah, because I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with this either. Like, so it's like, okay. You're really going to like let this person walk away though? Like, that's, that's another thing I want to point out to you. You're really going to let this person walk away. Like, you're going to really let them walk out of your life. Like, really? For real? For real? You really going to do this? Really? Really? I mean, I just want to, like, I just want to, like, point something out to you real quick. Mind you, you manifested this person to fruition. You asked for all of this, all right? So, in other words, this one over here has all of the qualities that you want within a person. Okay, just throwing that out there. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this person that actually sits in the chariot is the emperor. You're dealing with an empress. The person that's in the strength card is basically the empress. So, <sighs> you and this human over here are very fucking compatible to one another. Very fucking compatible. You guys are very similar in your ways. Y'all have the same values because I'm also getting that as well. I mean... You could have an amazing life with this one over here. An amazing one at that. Granted, are are there going to be times where this person's going to dry hump your last nerve? Absolutely. And there's going to be times, let me tell you, whether you're going to dry hump their last nerve. It's just, it's a given. It's going to happen. You, we can't avoid these things. You know what I mean? We can't. Um, you could have an amazing life with this person. You could. You really, really could. But see, that's that's the thing. That This is a frustrating part of it all because you could go have an amazing life with this person. You could have, In other words, you could have a normal relationship with this person where you're going to have your good moments with this person and you're going to have your bad moments with this person. When I'm talking about these bad moments, right, that you're going to find yourself experiencing is things that the two of you could overcome together. Um, so it's not going to be anything 
super unbearable that you wouldn't be able to basically handle or deal with is basically what this is telling me. So if you know that you're the type of person, right, that you just can't handle, you cannot handle getting cheated on, that's something that I just don't see you going through here. I, I don't. You know what I mean? There's certain things that you can definitely face and handle, and there's certain things that you know you just can't face, deal with, and or handle. So if you know you're the type of person that you just could not take, getting cheated on or handle getting cheated on. It's just not something that I see you having to experience uh, with this person in particular. You know what I mean? The universe is only going to give you what you can handle, what the universe feels like you can handle. And if you're the type of person that you know good and goddamn well that you just cannot handle getting cheated on, it's not something that you're going to find yourself experiencing with this person. But whatever challenges you will face within your relationship with this person will be things that the universe feels like you can handle in other words god's not going to give you you know god's not going to send um you know a specific challenge in your life that he feels like you can't overcome and or handle um to be completely honest and frank with you it kind of looks like if you were let's just say for example you were to go off and pursue them let's just say that you were right um what I actually see you experiencing is coming face to face with all the things that you haven't necessarily fully healed from and or dealt with is basically what I'm getting. So in other words, in other words, if you were to go off and pursue this person um, and let's say you're somebody who struggles with like, I don't know, like trust issues, those are things you're going to overcome being with this person. Let's say you have a massive fear of intimacy. Those are going to be the things that you overcome within your relationship with this person. You know, um, I'm not going to sit here and, and lie to you and tell you like, yo, like if you were to go off and pursue them, this is this is going to be a walk in the park, dude, for you. I'm not going to sit here and say all that. You know what I mean? I feel like eventually it will become a walk in the park for you. Um, but I do feel like there's a few things that you're going to have to face first because you're already pushing this person away in the name of, I just don't want to get hurt because I'm scared of getting hurt and I'm scared of going through this. I'm scared of going through that. So that's kind of telling me right there that there are certain things that you do need to heal from and overcome. And I feel like this relationship is definitely going to help you out with that. Now, if you were to go off and pursue this person, right, it's going to be hard at first it's going to be hard and it's going to be challenging and you're going to feel like, oh my God, like, God, this is so hard. Why is this, why is this happening to me? None of this is happening to you. It's happening for you. So all these things that, you know, spirit wants you to face and overcome is so that way you can come out a more healed version of yourself. So that way you can come out a better version of yourself. So that way your past is not controlling you anymore, haunting you anymore, affecting you anymore. Like, all of this is happening for you, not necessarily to you, but it's going to feel like, yo, this shit is happening to me. This is so fucking unfair. This is unfair. This is unfair. This is unfair. But once you get to the other side of all of this and you come out a more healed version of yourself, you know, the shit that used to trigger you is not going to trigger you anymore. These trust issues that you have, that's going to go away. This fear of intimacy that you have, that's going to go away. You know what I mean? Like the, the these things that... Um, these things from your past that prevent you from wanting to essentially love again or go there with a person again, all of that stuff is going to go away. It's going to it's gonna become a thing of the past. You know what I mean? So you're not going to find yourself getting easily triggered anymore. You're not going to find yourself going through a lot of things that you currently find yourself struggling with now. But I'm going to be real with you. You're going to continue to get triggered by certain things. Um, if you don't face this head on and overcome it already, you're going to continue to have this massive fear of intimacy. If you don't face it, overcome it already. Like these are things that are going to continue to remain with you until you decide, you know what? Now nah, I don't want to keep living my life this way. I don't want to keep having this massive fear of intimacy. I don't want to have these damn trust issues anymore. I don't want to keep getting triggered over this, that, and the third, like, fuck this. I'm going to, I'm going to overcome it. Um, and once you do overcome it or when you start to get the necessary steps to do so, no, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy because you're going to find yourself feeling like you're in danger. When in all actuality, like realistically speaking, are you really in danger? No, but you're going to feel like you're in danger because you're facing your trust issues. You're facing your massive fear of intimacy. You're facing your abandonment issues. Like you're facing a lot of things. So yeah, you're going to feel like you're in danger. You're going to feel like 
um, you know, all of this, you know, is happening to you, not necessarily for your growth. You know what I mean? Um, but it's happening for your growth. It's happening for your growth. It is. Uh, what's the outcome between these two? So there's going to come a point in time, and I really, really hope Capricorn, 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 or Aquarius, because I feel like I could be talking, uh, you know, to an Aquarius that's dealing with a Capricorn, because I keep getting Aquarius, 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 like, or maybe you have Aquarius within your chart, I don't know. There's going to come a point in time where this person's going to come back around your way because it's going to happen. That's kind of besides the damn point here. They're going to come back around your way. They're kind of harnessing the energy of, you know what? I'm going to try one more fucking time. One more damn time. And I know they probably told this, this to themselves so many freaking times before. Like, this time is going to be the last time that I try to build and establish a relationship with Capricorn. This is going to be the last time. I swear on everything I love. But they're going to try again. They're going to try again to pursue you in a relationship with you. And depending on what plays out will determine whether or not they continue to pursue you in a relationship with you. So in other words, if they try to pursue you again and you turn around and reject them, they're just going to take that, you know, as a sign that, you know what, they're not supposed to be with you and that they really need to move forward and move on with their life and just leave you alone for the rest of their life. OK, so I do see them making another attempt in your direction. Why is this person doing all of this? Because at the end of the day, they know that you are who they want. They know that you're the one that they want to spend the rest of their life with. So we do see them making another attempt in your direction, even though they told themselves a million bajillion times, this is going to be the last time. It's going to be the last fucking time that I chase Capricorn. It's going to be the last time that I try to make things work with Capricorn. Now, we do have the Emperor. We also have the World. And then we also have the Six of Pentacles to the Three of Cups. Okay. So, when this person does come back around your way, this is what Spirit wants you to do. And this is what I really hope you end up doing, to be honest, okay? I really hope that this time around you're open and receptive to this connection. Because... This is going to help you grow and evolve as an individual. This is going to get rid of your trust issues. This is going to get rid of all this stuff that you tend to get triggered over. This is going to get rid of your abandonment issues, um, your fear of, it's going to get rid of a lot of shit. You're going to, you're going to feel a lot lighter once you get to the other side. You're going to feel a lot better when you get to the other side. You're going to come on a more healed version of yourself if you accept the challenge if you accept the challenge, okay? This is what spirit wants you to do. Allow this person to be a part of your life, Capricorn. Allow yourself to go there with this person because if you do, you won't regret it. You won't regret it. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Swords. We also have the Five of Cups, the Nine of Swords, to the Page of Wands, to the Knight of Pentacles, to the King of Pentacles, to the Seven of Pentacles. I'm going to basically tell you what your life is going to look like if you choose to run in the opposite direction of this relationship and what your life is going to look like if you were to get involved with this person and fully go there. Let's just talk about, you know, what would happen if you were to like fully go there with this person. Again, it's going to be challenging and difficult at first. Um, you're going to feel like, oh my God, like all of this is just happening to me. I don't like it. I don't like it. No, but none of this is happening to you. It's happening for you. It, it's it's, it's helping you grow and evolve, but it's also helping you overcome things that you yourself struggled with overcoming while you were single and alone, okay? Now, if you were to also go off and pursue this person, you could end up having a very stable and healthy relationship with someone who loves you, who cares about you, who wants nothing but the best for you you so you could go off and have a successful relationship with this person and a beautiful one at that okay that's what you could have now if you choose to not pursue this person let's talk about what your life is really going to look like let's focus on like the positive real quick um so you're going to find yourself and again this is if you choose to not go with them right um, you're going to find yourself very focused on your career, your growth, your expansion, you know, your money, your business. If you have one, I am definitely getting that financially speaking, um, you know, you're going to see a lot of growth and expansion there. Why? Because you got nothing but time, you know what I mean? On your hands to focus on, 
the things that you want to accomplish and achieve for yourself without any distractions in your life, basically. Now, are you going to experience growth and expansion financially speaking within your relationship with this person? Yes. You're the type of person that's very determined to grow and evolve as an individual, especially when it comes down to like your career. You're very determined to climb that corporate ladder, especially if you're self-employed and you have your own business. You're very determined to have a very successful, um, you know, business. That's not something that's ever going to ever change about you, by the way. Like you're just very determined. You're just very determined to accomplish and achieve the things that you want to accomplish and achieve out of life. So that's not going to really change regardless if you're single or in a relationship. You're still going to thrive financially speaking, whether you're with this person or without this person. So that's something that's going to definitely remain the same. Then again, you are a Capricorn. Y'all are all about your growth, your expansion, your money, your success, your abundance, your stability. So that's just who you are. That's not going to change regardless if you're in a relationship or not. Um, I do feel like this person, though, if you decide to go off and pursue them in a relationship with them, I do feel like this person's going to push you to grow. I am definitely getting that they're going to give you like really good ideas, especially for those of you who have your own business and are self-employed. I feel like this person's going to like give you like really good ideas like, oh, you should launch this product or oh, you should do this. You, should, you know, things like that. Um, anywho's now. Let's talk about love, I guess. Um, you're still going to find yourself um, having a massive fear of intimacy. You're still going to have your, you're, you're still going to find yourself struggling with like trusting people. Um, you know, you're still going to have like abandonment issues. These are things that you're going to continue to carry on with you until you come face to face with it and overcome it. But because, you know, for those of you who do decide to not go off and pursue them, um, yeah, I see you very focused on your money and your stability, but I also see you out here having meaningless connections with people. I am definitely getting that. There's going to come a point in time where you're going to find yourself feeling, um, feeling alone. I am definitely getting that. Feeling alone, um, you know, feeling like you're in bad company. I'm also getting that. So a lot of you are going to find yourself feeling like you're dealing with a lot of people that, Are just kind of like pining after you for all the wrong reasons so you might find yourself feeling like oh such and such is only dealing with me because of my money or because of my business or because of this or because of that they don't really like fuck with me you know what i mean for me you know what i mean you're gonna like find yourself feeling like that again it's just an energy of like feeling alone you know feeling like you're surrounded by people that don't really love you that don't really care about you that are just here to basically take advantage of you and basically lose you know like you know use you um but I'm going to be honest with you, this, this energy of you feeling alone, um, that's the, the, the tone that you're setting for yourself, Capricorn, because you don't have to be alone. You don't have to face life all by yourself. You're, you're, you would be choosing to, if you decide to go down this route over here. Okay. Um, because you're going to come into contact with a lot of not so good people, um, I feel like it's going to furthermore cause you to not want to ever love again. So the likelihood of you ever building and establishing a life with absolutely anyone is, um, I would say, deteriorating at a very rapid pace because of the people that you're coming into contact with. Um, if you choose to not go off and pursue them in a relationship with them, you're going to come into contact with a lot of people that are just going to try to take advantage of you, use you, don't really have your best interests at heart, things of that nature. And that will unfortunately cause you to not want love even more. It's going to this whole idea of you eventually ending up with like the love of your life, like that's just going to deteriorate at a very rapid pace because of the people that you're going to come into contact with. Okay, now the only good that I see coming out of you choosing to not go off and pursue this person is you having more time on your hands to focus on your money, to focus on your career, to focus on climbing this corporate ladder. You know what I mean? Um, that's honestly the only good that I that I that I see you experiencing by not 
choosing to go off and be with this person. But see, if you choose to go off and be with this person, man, like, not only is your money going to be looking good, you're going to have somebody by your side that's going to constantly push you to grow and evolve as an individual. I keep getting good ideas, good ideas. For those of you who are self-employed or have your own business, like, this person might, like, give you, like, really good ideas to, like, improve, um, you know, your business. Um, you know, they might encourage you to launch a new product. Like, this person comes off to me as somebody that you could thrive with and succeed with. Um, I just really hope that you take spirit's advice, moral of the story, because I'm not going to sit here and say, oh man, this is a terrible life over here, Capricorn, being all single and alone and stuff. I mean, there's some good, you know, like, you're going to you're going to be super focused on your career. You're going to have nothing but time to focus on your career and your business like but then you got this where it's like you're kind of feeling like sad and lonely. You don't have anybody while all of your friends are married or cooped up with somebody. You know what I mean? It's like you're over here by yourself. You know what I mean? Um I'm also kind of getting that nobody nobody's gonna have time to like chill with you um you might have a lot of friends that are like married or in a relationship already that have their like families and stuff like that um and you might be bored one day and you're just like yo like we should really go out have a drink or whatever and then your friend's like no nah, I can't because I'm doing a thing I'm doing something with my wife I'm doing something with my husband I'm doing something with my girl like I can't really chill with you. You know what I mean? And you're going to feel like, damn, like nobody has time for me. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to see you like that. You know what I mean? I rather have, I rather you have somebody by your side that you can rely on, that you can depend on, that you can grow with, that you can evolve with and have a beautiful life with. And then, you know, from time to time, get annoyed with them. Like, I rather, I rather see you living life like that than see you living life like this. You know, and and at the end of the day, I just I want what's best for you, just like I want what's best for everybody. And to be honest, I'm not saying that this is a terrible life to live, but you could do fucking better. You know what I mean? Like you could do way better than this shit over here. Like you could have somebody by your side that you could face life with. You could build with. You can establish an amazing relationship with. Granted, from time to time, this person's going to dry hump your last nerve and you're going to dry hump their last nerve, but I, I would rather see you, you know what I mean? Be with this person than be alone and have to deal with bad company any day of the week. Because at least with this person, you're in good company. At least with this person, hell, you got somebody who actually cares about you, somebody who actually loves you. With these other people, they don't love you. They don't care about you. You know, they're just here to take advantage of you and keep it moving. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I don't want to see you live your life like that. Um, so I really hope that when this person does come back around your way, you be open and receptive to it. Because now you basically know roughly what to expect if you decide not to go down that route. So by the way, every person that you come into contact with, you ain't going to trust them. Um, and it's because they're untrustworthy individuals. Uh, this whole idea of you one day settling down and finding the perfect person for you, these people that you're going to come into contact with, these specific people that you're going to come into contact with, is going to essentially cause you to not want love even more. If you think you don't want love now because you're afraid of getting heartbroken, just wait until, until you come into contact with these people. There's something about these people and the way that they live their life that's going to cause you to feel like, oh, fuck that. Uh-uh. If you thought that you were afraid of love over here, just wait until you come into contact with these people because they're going to install the only fear within you to never want to love again because of the way they are as an individual and the way they do people and the way that they live their life. It's going to cause you to basically think, damn, everybody must be like this. Screw that. I'm good. At the end of the day, dude, I don't think that you were brought into this life to be alone. You know what I mean? I think that you were brought into this life to find somebody that you could build and, and share a life with. And I feel like that opportunity is presenting itself to you. And keep in mind that even though you're pushing this person away and you have been pushing this person away, you asked for all of this at the end of the day. You asked for all of this. Um, you asked for someone like this to show up in your life. And I highly doubt that you asked for someone to walk up in your life 
to hurt you, betray you, and deceive you. That's another thing you need to kind of keep in mind too because it's like you have this massive fear that if you go off and pursue them, you're going to experience X, Y, and Z. But I'm pretty sure when you were manifesting this person to fruition, you didn't ask for someone to walk up in your life and cheat on you and betray you and deceive you and, and hurt you. I'm pretty sure you didn't ask for that. I'm pretty sure you asked, you know, for a good man to come to come in your life or even a good woman. Keep that in mind, Capricorn. Keep that in mind that you manifested this person into fruition and I highly doubt you asked for a god-awful person to walk up in your life and betray you and deceive you. I don't think that you asked for all of that. I don't. So this thing that you fear is going to happen if you were to go off and pursue them, it's probably never going to happen because I'm pretty sure you didn't ask for that. All right? So that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helps. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.